Yes, my lady. We are out here at the Jacksonville Arboretum, and I'm here with Dana and Caitlin. And if you haven't been out here in a while, it has changed a lot. Right now, we're under this new pavilion that is lit up with some very big plans. But you know what? I don't know anything I'm talking about. I'm going to let Dana fill us in about all the upgrades and innovations you guys have been doing out here. Well, we have a bunch of projects going on right now, which includes a large group of volunteers out here working today to get us a bunch of plants planted to make it gorgeous for some upcoming events that we have. And we are also doing a spruce to our pollinator garden today. So we're doing a native pollinator garden so that we can bring in the butterflies, the bees, you know, the hummingbirds. And we just put in a beautiful water fountain, this gorgeous new pavilion we've been very busy out here we were talking about when we first met and like this path it wasn't like all paved out and you guys have done that pretty much all the way throughout the park and there's so many different paths so whatever your do deal is if you just want to come out check out some flowers some of the nature and all of that stuff that's great if you want to walk miles and really take it all in you have that opportunity as well but something that is coming up on deck can we mention that there's going to be children's spot in the near future yes so the the board is working on a schematic design right now with designers Trey Fromey and Chris Barkley and um, they're infamous designers in the garden world and we're so thrilled to have them but they're creating this really gorgeous design right now so it's in design and that comes first before we do anything else to make sure that we get it right but so. it's gonna be amazing obviously now Kate and Caitlin you guys have all these volunteers out here how important is it that you have the people that are so willing to come out and be a part of this experience oh it's so important we are a very small team of six so any help that we can get is so important to us and we have some amazing volunteers that do come out every single week so today we're lucky enough we have 35 volunteers that are joining us from a real estate company um, so we had them last week as well we're so grateful for them but our weekly volunteers are just invaluable they're amazing so we know about having a small team doing big things and the, all the help we get from extraneous. So thank you guys for that help with our RCL team. Now, we're going to be coming back here in a little bit. There's a big event coming up for the winter, and uh, they've started a couple years ago. It has evolved, and you see this little creation right here. This is going to be part of it. And if you're big into volunteering, you might be able to help them out with this as well. So with some of the other upgrades that you had, you mentioned that there's a grant involved, huh? Yes. So we just received our largest gift ever of a million dollars from the River Branch Foundation, which is going to help us so much with our sustainability and being able to help us get to the next level as far as our infrastructure is concerned. So that was I was just so grateful for that because every little bit helps, but that was a really large gift, so we're super <laughs> excited about it. All right, so like I said, we're going to be coming back. We're going to get a couple pictures. Where's my phone? We're going to get some pictures. Look at this view out here. I mean, come on. you got to come out here, get some beauty shots. This is going to be for weddings. This is going to be here, Vaughn. This is how we do it. We're not, all the cool kids, we're taking a little selfie. All right, we're not really taking a selfie. That's Vaughn's face. <laughs> But we will be back in just a few minutes. So, Jana, we're going to go back into you.